let's unmute uh, my um, Zoom class. There's my Zoom kids. Hi, Zoom kids. How are you today? Good to see you. Welcome, all you guys. Welcome to my Mighty Mondays. I have, uh, let's see who we have here. Oh, my goodness. We got a full class. We got Caitlin. Wave, Caitlin. And Isaac. And we have uh, the Fox kids and Isaiah and Jeremiah. This is so cool. Oh, my goodness. Look at this class. We have Lisa. Here, I got to go. Uh, Rebecca, Sarah, and Nate, Nathaniel. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I'm glad you're with me. Well, this is our this is our Fine Arts Academy. Uh, this is our Fine Arts Academy daily drawing lessons on Zoom, live on Zoom. Uh, Fine Arts Academy. This is Mighty Monday, so you know what that means. That means that we invite special uh, other families to join us. We invite all the families at Draw3D.com to join us. And today, today, you awesome genius students. Today, you awesome genius students, take your finger and say, yippee, yippee. Today, we're doing something special here. And wait a minute, I got to reload my YouTube. I got to, because I we, we invited all my, uh, we invited all my students to uh, come from YouTube and join us today. And also, this is so cool. I'm live on YouTube. That is wonderful. I mean, I, I don't want to do the full screen. I want to be able to see the comments here. So send me a comment on YouTube. And also, we have Facebook with us tonight, you guys. We have Facebook. Let's go live on Facebook. Oh, that's wonderful. Send me a comment on Facebook. And, uh, hey, I have Rebecca with us. Rebecca is at the beach. Rebecca is at the beach drawing. We have Isaiah with us. Uh, oh, Rebecca on Zoom. That's wonderful. I'm trying to see on YouTube. Who do we have on YouTube? Um, I want to make sure. Wait a minute. We don't have any comment on Facebook yet. Let me write hi. I'll say that on Facebook, and I'll say hi on YouTube, just to welcome everybody. All right, go ahead and start the recording, if you would. Start the recording, if you would. Where is my, uh, uh, where is Caitlin? Are you still on with me, Caitlin? Oh, Caitlin, Caitlin had to go. So, oh, she, Caitlin's still there. Thank you, Caitlin. Well, welcome, everybody. This is our Mighty Mondays. I forgot to start the recording when I did the opening, so I'll do it all over again. Welcome, Mighty Mondays. Everybody wave your hand. Wave. I can see you on the camera. Hi, guys. Hi, Owen. Hi, Nathaniel. Hi, Ray Rebecca. Hi, everybody. Lu uh, Lucy and Matthew. Goodness gracious, we got so many kids here. i got to go through the names again. This is wonderful. Great to see you guys. All right, well, I'm glad everybody's here today. Now, today, you know, Mighty Mondays means that we have... Not only do we have all of our Fine Arts Academy families, we have all of you guys, but we've invited all of our families from Draw 3D to join us on Mighty Mondays. Very exciting. So we have two two different, whole different uh, uh, family groups coming together. And also today, we've invited all of our friends from YouTube and from Facebook to join us. Take your hand, say yippee, I'm so excited. Before I start the lesson, uh, yeah, this is what we did last hour, by the way. It was really cool. But before I start the lesson, I want to uh, make a, a, I'm going to mention this several times today. But today, tonight, I'm doing my collaboration, my my uh, NASA uh, Team Artemis. All right, NASA Team Artemis. Uh, and I draw 3D. So we, we, uh, we form this collaboration. We do, this is our ninth episode of our live uh, drawing uh, episodes. We're going to go live tonight at 6.30. We're going to draw tonight with the help of a NASA engineer, a NASA artist, NASA scientist, uh, and me, Mark Kissler. We also have a special guest, Joe Woes, amazing uh, international cartoonist coming. So this is tonight at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. I hope Now, this is not on Zoom, you guys. All my Zoom kids, wave to me, Zoom kids. Wave to me, all my Zoom kids. This is... Uh, this is on Facebook and YouTube, so there's no 6.30 class tonight, okay? I just want to let you know that. This is going to be so cool. And we've done nine episodes of this one in the past. We've done, look at all these. We did the Orion. We drew the Orion space. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'm actually going to show you the drawings that we did. Here, this is what we did. This was, uh, 
Uh, this was an episode we did the SLS Rocket. That was uh, episode two. Uh, then we did the Gateways drawing. That was an hour lesson. We had the scientists and engineers who designed the habitat that's going to orbit the moon. It's the lunar uh, space station. It's what the Orion docks do, and that they use this as their little RV, the recreational vehicle, before they go down and explore the moon. We drew the uh, moon uh, exploration suit, the XEMU. Uh, we drew the, the crawler, the big machine that carries this launch tower for the SLS rocket that's on top of that crawler. We drew the uh, Orion uh, crew survival system. That's what, that's what the, uh, uh, the astronauts wear coming back into reentry. And this is the Orion space capsule that they're going to use to get to the gateways. And then uh, we did an episode uh, called uh, 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 the uh, the Moon Kit. What would you pack to go to the moon? And I would pack a little bagel uh, toaster. So now tonight we do the next episode. The next the next episode of the series, episode nine, is the lunar train vehicle. So I hope you guys join me tonight at six thirty. Okay. All right, let's jump into our drawing lesson, put a dot right here, and draw four squares here. Let's draw four territories. So that's going to be our our lesson. We're going to draw four drawings. Now, I don't know if we'll get through all four. Last, yesterday, or to this morning, we only got through um, a few of them. But I want to start by drawing, uh, using this book, and I want to draw this, uh, it's called the Pencil Sailboat. I'm going to use the Imagination Station book. And this is on page 101. And I want to draw this this really cool. Look at this. Look at this uh, drawing here. This is one of the students did that pencil sailboat right there. But I've got to find the lesson. There it is. The Voyage of Ideas. Look, at, we're going to draw the this sailboat in the space. Doesn't that look fun? Look at that. The Voyage of Ideas. The 3D pencil sloop. You guys want to draw that? So let's draw... Let's draw this. So we're going to start with a guideline. Now I'm going to draw it. I have to have room for the sail up the top, so I'm going to draw it pretty low here. I'm going to draw a guideline going in direction northeast. I'm going to use my drawing direction compass. This drawing direction compass is very handy. Okay, see that? It's going uphill in direction northeast. All right, so we're going to make this line going uphill. I'll zoom this in so you guys can see it a little bit better. Let me zoom that in so you guys can see it a little bit better here. You can make it sure you can make a big ship like a pirate ship if you want. I'm getting some cool questions up here on my Zoom. Hey, there's Fatima. Hey, Fatima, how are you? Put a dot right here. Draw the four shorts and circle. Fatima's on YouTube, and she's been drawing with me for uh, six, seven months now. Hey, we have Donovan and Veronica on my Facebook. Good to see you guys. I'm glad you guys are joining me again. This is our 11 o'clock in the morning Central Time. Uh, Mighty Mondays class. Ooh, I have my little logo up there. Mighty Mondays from Draw3D.com. All right, now let's. This goes uphill in that direction, direction northeast. Now I'm going to make this this pencil sailboat. It's going to get a little bit smaller as it moves away, and I'm going to have it go out right out of the square. This don't fret. You can go right out of the square. The square is not a wall. It's not a boundary. You can just go right through. It's just a suggestion. So let's curve the end of this log in space right here. It's just going to be this floating pencil at first. I'm going to put the pencil tip back. Now, I'm starting very light. I'm drawing very light, 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 light. And then I'm going to draw darker, darker, darker as we go. Okay? Good job. Hi, Isaac and Nathaniel and Owen and Rebecca. I'm so glad to see you guys drawing with me today. Take your finger and say, aha, it's Mighty Mondays. Take your finger. Let me hear you say it really loud. Aha. Say it so loud that people come running across the room to remember if you make mistakes, don't worry. You have your license to flop, okay? License to flop. You can. This is your license to be creative, your license to expand out of your comfort zone. And don't stress. No stress as you're drawing, you guys. Stress is on the bus. Beep, 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 beep. Stress is on the bus. There's no stress. You guys, you guys are my geniuses. You're my Einstein geniuses times two. You guys are my, my geniuses times two. You guys are so, so smart. All right, so let's draw the the tip of the, the pencil sloop, the pencil cell, but I'm going to use a guideline. I'm going to go down the, the middle line here. There's that guideline. Put a dot at the end. 
put a dot at the end down here and then go up to that tip from this point go down to this tip right here great to see you guys drawing with me wonderful 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 and this is good i'm loving i'm looking at my facebook comments uh and i'm looking at my youtube oh Beth wants to draw, Beth Powell wants to draw koalas. All right, we can draw koalas. We can draw koalas. I, I said that last hour, didn't I? All right, so now we drew our pencil on the sky. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to add some details. See this? We're following the directions in my uh, imagination station book. All right, I'm going to zoom that out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's zoom this out so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the imagination station book, and we're going to be drawing that the sailboat right there. Now, there's another version of this in this book. I did I did a more detailed. If you look at this book, drawing in 3D, I can show you this really cool, this more advanced version. It's really really cool. Here, let me find it here. So this one's a more. This is a, this is more of a beginning book. This imagination station, and then the if you want to get even more advanced, you go to drawing in 3D book. And these drawings are a lot more detailed. But uh, here, I got. I want to find this. There we go. So we know. Uh, I want to go to. Uh, got to find it, the picture. I think it's under sail, sailing. Uh, yep, sailing sloop, page 190. So I'm going to go to page 190. 190. There it is. See, that's an even more advanced one. Look at that, you guys. You like that? Just look at that. Isn't that a cool one? Isn't that wonderful? So that's that's in drawing in 3D. Now we're going to do the, the little simpler one in the Imagination Station. I just wanted to show you that. Now, if you guys are going to get one of my books, I recommend that one right here. That's on my screen that you can draw in 30 days. Now, this book right here that you can draw in 30 seconds, this was supposed to be delivered on Friday, my first 1,000 books. I'm self-publishing this book. I'm so excited about it, you guys. I'm so excited about it. 1,000 of my books are arriving soon. They were supposed to get here on Friday, but, you know, everything is delayed with shipping. So as soon as I get them, I'll hold it up. But this one, this is only, uh, you can purchase this online on my website at markkistler.com. I don't. I, I can't believe I forgot to put the website up here on my on the screen. But you can go to markkessler.com and get that. All right. So here we go. Let's draw the the sail of our sloop here. I'm going to put right in the middle. I'm going to put a, a curved line to kind of measure where that's going to go. I'm going to put a four shortened circle at the top. I'm going to zoom this in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll zoom that camera in so you can see what I'm doing there. And then, now I'm coming out of the, the middle here. Let's put, I'm, tr I'm trying to see what I did on this one. All right, I'm going to draw the vertical line. I'm going to draw this tall mast. Now, I had a 27-foot Catalina for many, many years. And the mast, I think the mast, the mast uh, had to be over, it had to be over 30-foot mast. It was really cool. It had a, and it, up at the top, and it had a little radar ring up here. It was really cool. Now, the, the main, this is called the boom right here. The, the, I'm going to draw the boom. And this is this is the bar that swings back and forth that's attached to your, ma your main. It's not, it swings back and forth. It's just, it's tied with, a, with a, uh, like a shackle here. So it's very flexible. It swings around. And then, now, typically my mass would be taller, but I'm going to run, run off the page. Now, this sail, this is called your main sail, this big sail right here. That's your main sail. And back here, uh, here's the cockpit. I'm going to put, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw the cool cockpit here. I'm going to cu curve that contour, draw the foreshortened line. Now, watch this. I'm going to I'm going to eliminate that back end of the pencil. See what I'm doing here? Now, watch this. This would be cool. See that? I'll draw that little cockpit. See that in the, in the pencil? Now along along that line of the cockpit, you're gonna see. Here, let me kind of erase that guideline. You know what? I want to fix this a little bit. I want to angle this not quite so much. All right. So the cockpit here, and here you are. 
Now, right along the back, there's a, a track at the back, and it attaches to to this uh, the sail, and it, you can adjust the track of that. That's how you do it. And then on either side uh, of the boom, there's these little shackle here, and then there's the uh, your side lines that pull the boom either to the left or to the right, and so it's on a little shackle on this side. See that? And uh, look, it's been so long I sold, I forgot what these lines are called. Oh my goodness, I forgot the name. Maybe if I if I look in the other book, if I remember. Um, but I know that like if you if you want to, you have to aim toward the wind. You lean a little bit to the left, and so you pull the the these lines. Now the jib sail at the very front, it's attached up here. Now this is a single mast, so here's the jib sail. This is pretty good. I'm doing this from memory. See this, the jib sail. I'm going to attach the jib sail down here to the sail. This is the a big. This is like your your uh, adds extra booster power. This is your main sail. This is your extra poof sail. You can poof poof that up in the wind, and you have to make sure that that it catches the wind, so it opens it up. It's, I love sailing. I haven't sailed for years. I miss it. This is cool. We're taking a pencil and turning it into a sailboat. Now I want to make sure I'm telling you the right words, so I'll go back. I forgot what uh, page it was on on this one. It was under S. Here it is, the sailing sloop. So I put all these little, I put all these definitions here. Look at, there's the communication, bird poop. But there's bird, lots of bird poop on a sailboat. And here's the main sail, the main sheet. They call it the main sheet. Oh, look, I forgot to put the battens in here. And here's the, the, uh, uh, the jib sheet. There's the bow. The front of the boat's called the bow. And then we got to put the tiller. And uh, the rudder, but I didn't. I, I didn't put the name of the of the different uh, shackles, but I know there are. But let's put the put the bow of the ship, the front of the ship up here, and darken it in. Isn't this fun, you guys? Oh, this is cool. All right. So then I'm going to draw you. Who's going to be back here kicking back? Which who's that? Who's that back there in the back kicking back here? All right, so here I'm gonna have your your hair blowing back in the wind. Yay! Oh, this brings back memory. See now, I, I never quite know how uh, this guy. You look at you're holding on to the. I'm gonna have you holding on to the side sheet here. You're like, yeah, we're sailing, we're sailing, woohoo! And you're taking off now. So we're gonna the. I should we put this in the water? Or is it going to be above the water, flying? And maybe it's it's a flying. Maybe it's flying. You could have it flying or in the water. I think uh, I'm going to put it in the water. So what I'm going to do along here? Watch this. I'm going to have I'm going to have the water. Draw draw the water along the bottom of the the pencil rocket here, and then erase it. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up, and then. I'm going to put these uh, four short circle. Watch this. Put four short in circle here, and you can you can draw like a, a some little foam of the the direction. See this? I'm going to put the water ripples up here, and maybe a little some four short and water ripples around the front, kind of splashing. And draw the water ripples coming up the front. Draw little water ripples. I like that foam coming off the back. So I'm going to shade the back of the sailboat. Here, how about a little, uh, uh, how about a, uh, a student art gallery? You guys want to show me how you did on your little pencil sailboat, you guys? Here, let's see. Put these contour lines around here. If Caitlin's on there, uh, Caitlin, did you want to, yeah, it's, there's, let's show some drawings here. You guys are doing so good. Curve that tip of the pencil. That's called contour. And I made, see, that what happens with these drawing lessons is we start to draw, then we let our ideas, our imagination take over. We were going to draw the this, this sloop in the, going up in the sky, but now, but now I've changed it to draw the sailing sloop in the water, racing along here. And I love your drawings. I'm looking at Nathaniel's drawing. That's awesome. Keep going, uh, 
we'll keep going. Let's see. There's the Fox Children's drawing. Thank you for sharing. Now, I can't see your drawings on social media, but on my Zoom class here, I can. I can see your drawings. Boy, those are looking. Caitlin's making a pirate ship out of hers. That's wonderful. I love that pirate ship, Caitlin. Putting some contour lines. Look at there's uh, Beth Powell's drawing. She, Beth Powell wants to draw koalas in her next drawing, so we'll we'll do that. Let's draw some. I'm going to put a few. I'm going to put a few little sail uh, battens in the sail there to make it look a little more realistic. And I think I'll put some little rivets on the in the side of the the uh, jib sail. And oh, look at these drawings. Madeline drawing. There's Una's drawing. Hello, Una. Hello, Una. Do you guys have your stuffed animals? Let's do the Una maneuver. Take your stuffed animals, everybody. Here you go. Ready? Let's do the Una maneuver. Here it comes. Uh, oh, uh, hey, there's Dace all the way from England. Hey, Dace, you could watch me on YouTube and Facebook right now, too. Here, Caitlin, come back to my hand. Caitlin, come back to my hand. And let's, I'm going to see here. This doing we're doing the Una moving or everybody take your stuffed animal. This is one of my students. Her name is Una, and she always takes your stuffed animal and comes in from the side like that. That's really good. Take your finger and say aha. Take your finger and say aha. You guys, hey, we're gonna draw koalas because Beth Powell, one of my Zoom students, she wants to draw koalas. So we'll draw koalas in uh, in our next drawing. I'm I'm just so proud of you guys for taking your. Your wings flapping, your wings of imagination and soaring. I'm so proud of you. You guys, you guys are my little fluffy bunnies of genius creativity. You know that? You're my, you know what? You guys are awesome. You know what? You guys, you're my, you're my parachuting penguins of pencil power. Here you are. You're my parachuting penguins of pencil power. That's a alliteration. Take your finger, everybody. Push the tip of your nose. Everybody push the tip of your nose. Let me see you in the camera. I see Dace in England. I see Mamma. I see Isaac. Isaac, don't put your finger in your nose, you cool, crazy, scary guy. Put the Take your finger and tap the tip of your nose. Push your genius button. That's your genius button. Let's get going here. I'm going to add a little more shading along the bottom. I'm going to add a little more shading along the bottom here. A little more shading along the bottom. Isn't that wonderful? Do you guys love it? Do you love it, love it, love it? And there's our awesome. That is so cool. All right, let's go to a next one. Now we have a request for koalas. So let's draw let's draw a bunch of koalas here. So I'm going to draw a, a clump, a tree clump here. I'm going to draw a bunch of co koalas in the tree, looking out of the top of the tree. Thank you, uh, uh, Beth, for at requesting that. Koalas. We like drawing koalas. Now remember tonight, if you're just joining me, I'm gonna write this. I want to write this down right here, just so you remember. Well, uh, all right, let's draw the koalas, and I'll do. I was gonna write the reminder about the NASA 6:30 p.m. tonight, our collaboration with uh, Team NASA Team Artemis for our. Um, I'm gonna put the koalas face for our live webcast drawing lesson on how to draw the lunar terrain vehicle. It's gonna be so much fun. We have uh, NASA Jack. Oh, he's an artist with NASA directing it. Our technical director and co-host is is uh, Patricia Moore. She's a NASA educator. We have Lucy and Jenkin, who's an uh, engineer, who's going to talk about, educate us on the uh, the moon terrain vehicle here that we're going to draw. We're going to draw the moon, the lunar terrain, the dune buggy on the moon, okay? And that's tonight. That's tonight, tonight, tonight. That's our NASA. That's our NASA. I got to find. Here it is. Here's the, the NASA Artemis. And draw 3D. That's me. See here. Let me zoom that out so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Here. I'm so excited about this. Here. Let me zoom this out. All right. So Team NASA uh, uh, Artemis Mission to the Moon. And draw 3D. That's me. That's my logo. We collaborate together, and we're going to draw this tonight at 6.30 p.m. Now, it's not going to be on Zoom for all my Zoom students. It's not going to be on Zoom. It will be on um, YouTube and Facebook, all right? It'll be on YouTube and Facebook, and that's tonight. Uh, well, thank you guys up there. Beep, beep, beep. Dave Wilson and Alfred Reed all the way from Dublin with us. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, we have... 
uh, Tuxedo. We have Karen Fox. Oh, look, at Karen Fox has been using my books for years. Thank you. We have Chris Barnes on YouTube. It's good to see all you guys up there. Thank you for... Thank you for being on my uh, my webcast. All right, let's put the ears of the koala. We're going to block this guy in. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put another one, right? Like an even bigger one. Like I'm going to draw, this guy is going to be bigger. He's going to be closer to you. So he's coming out of that tree right here. I'm just going to block him in. I think I'm going to put, look at this guy. This guy's huge. Look at this guy. This guy's even closer and he's going to be going off the edge of the page. Now, this is a good lesson. You see, as they get closer, they get larger. And if they get further away, I think I'll put I'll put one over here, a smaller one. Okay, put it put their ears. I'm just scribbling. I'm scribbling. I'm, I'm, I'm sketching them in where they're going to be positioned and placed. Looking good. Looking good, you guys. If it, is anybody on my Zoom class watching my YouTube and and Facebook too? It looks kind of cool, huh? You can you can you can tell that with this with the Zoom lesson, I'm using one of my old cameras, and with my Facebook and YouTube, I'm using my two new ones. And wow, there's a difference. I didn't really realize how much of a difference there was until I'm up there looking at it here. It, pretty cool. All right, so let me zoom this in. But I got the got another camera ordered for my Zoom classes, so it should be here next week. This is cool. Well, what I, the idea, what I'm going to uh, do, at least for this week, is I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to go live on YouTube and f social media this week with the with our classes, with our 10, 11 o'clock, and six thirty classes. We'll just do kind of a fun promo week uh, to share the drawings with the world, and then then I'll see where it goes. I might I might continue just doing the first drawing live with the world, so we can get get the whole world involved with our lessons. I love, you know, my mission is to teach the world to draw. Joy and creativity. Get joy and creativity out there in the world. Drawing is a great elixir of joy. Drawing is a great elixir for learning how to think creatively and solve problems. If you learn how to draw, you're going to be a better thinker. You're going to be a better student. You're going to be a, a better person, a better citizen of the planet Earth. Look at that. Drawing is the great elixir for everything. Drawing is the answer to to world joy and peace. I tell you, my, I'm going a little bit uh, extra over on the deep edge, but I love drawing. I love, I love how it it brings people together. The visual arts. You can show people what you're thinking and what you're feeling, and you can also make little fluffy koalas. All right, so I'm erasing. I'm cleaning up, but these are the tools that I use most. I use my drawing stomp. My blender, my, my here's my th items here, and you guys, this was in your Zoom email you got this morning. You have links to these different uh, things that I use: the drawing brush, the drawing click, any kind of eraser, any kind of blender, any kind of pencil will do. Any kind of pencil. Let's put a clump here, and then here's a helix and a culture. Now this this lesson right here is actually a lesson that's in my. Uh, you can draw in 30 days book. You guys have seen seen this book. In fact, it's right there on the side of your screen. It's that one. Now, this is available on Amazon or in your favorite online uh, retailer. Uh, but I'm going to show you the koala lesson here. Where's my koala lesson? i got to find it here. Where's my koala lesson? i got to flip through it. And if you guys have this book, you can send me a text. Where's the koala lesson? I gotta find it. I'm gonna find it. Oh, I up oh, there it is. Okay, I almost gave up, but then I found it. All right, there it is. There's the koala lesson. See that? Isn't that handy? Looking cool, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna draw these koalas here. I'll put the other one back here, a little further away. I leave a little reflection. That'll help keep your drawing. Uh, I'm going to zoom that in so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll zoom it in on this camera. Looking good, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. And on this one, I guess I could zoom in so you guys won't see as much of my background there. There it is. Hi, guys. 
Look at him waving to all my YouTube and Facebook. Hi, guys. It's just so fun to be able to, you guys can see me talking and you can see me drawing at the same time. I love that. Of course, the technology has been around for years. I just finally figured it out with the help of uh, Jack Moore and Nate Johnson. Thank you so much, you guys. After took me hours and hours and hours to learn how to do it. It's a pretty simple, well, to me, it was absolutely crazy uh, advanced science, but we figured it out here. This is good. Oh, yeah, okay. Sarah's, Sarah's jumping between YouTube and Facebook trying to figure out which to watch me on. Well, as long as you're on there drawing, that's all that matters. I'm just glad you're drawing. I want everybody to draw 20 minutes a day. Just draw 20 minutes a day, and it'll make you a better thinker. It'll make you more happy. I promise you, draw 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day to beat the COVID blues away. How's that? 20 minutes a day to beat the COVID blues away. I'm going to write that right here. 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day uh, keeps the COVID blues away. I promise you, COVID blues away. Now, what I've been doing with this, I'm uh, doing a New Year's resolution where I'm exercising for uh, 21 minutes. I'm doing the 21, 21, 21, my challenge. And I don't I usually have a little... Uh, thing here but i'm doing 20 minutes a day of uh exercise and 21 minutes a day of let me see if i can find it here no i can't find it uh 21 minutes a day of exercise 21 minutes a day of drawing and giving myself uh uh grace 21 percent grace and humor if i miss a day i don't give up on the whole thing uh covid blues away 20 in fact i think i have it i got it right here See, guys, this was my New Year's resolution. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21 minutes a day of drawing on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. Uh, and then Zoom, of course, I'm doing Zoom every day. And then 21 minutes a day of walking or running or bicycling. Of course, I can't run my knees. And then 21, the key is 21% grace. So just, just shooting it for, for as much as I can. No stress. Stress is on the bus. And I'm doing doing really well keeping keeping my uh self going and if i'd miss a day i'm not gonna i don't give up on the whole thing i just keep plugging away one day at a time exercise and drawing it every day keeps those covid blues away i hope that that you guys are hearing me on that let me uh uh rebecca saying it's a thunderstorm here rebecca's in the middle of a thunderstorm hey what do you think of this beth powell do you like your little koala, your trees, koalas, koalas in a tree? Do you like that? I wasn't planning on doing koalas today, but I, I like. Anytime someone wants koalas, I love drawing koalas. Go koalas. Take your finger, you guys. Take your finger and say, aha. Take your finger and say, aha. I love that. Here, una maneuver. Time for an una moment. Here, take your stuffed animal. Come in from the side. There's our una movement. Good to see you. Hey, Una, are you guys coming? Who's Raise your hand if you're coming to my uh, NASA Live tonight, 630 Central. Kaylin, are you coming? Uh, okay, Dace, Dace is going to be in uh, Dace is in England, so it'll be uh, 1 in the morning when she draws live. That's awesome. Thank you. And Madeline's going to be there. What about you, Isaac? Isaac, are you going to be with us at the NASA drawing? Are you going to come tonight? It's 630 p.m. I hope you talk your parents into it, okay? And what about you, Espen? Espen, are you going to come, Fox? What about you, Fox Kids? Tonight at 6.30 Central Time. What about you, Matthew? What about you, Lucy? Rebecca, I hope you guys come. I'm going to write that down. Tonight, I'm going to write it on my paper. Tonight at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, and this is uh, live... On Facebook. It's not on Zoom tonight, guys. Just a reminder. It's not on Zoom. Facebook and YouTube. Oh, look at Isaac said he doesn't know, but Espen says okie dokie. Live on Facebook and YouTube. That's tonight. And it's uh it's NASA's uh pound draw Artemis. 
with me, Mark Kessler. Woohoo! Draw Artemis. That's tonight. It's going to be so fun. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on the same channel you guys are watching this, this live here. It's just so cool. We have England and Ireland on, and we have Germany on with us. Any other countries? Any other foreign exotic countries coming here? Uh, hey, Sarah's going to come. Fatima's going to come to the NASA. That's cool. And NJ. And NJ saying, how long do you think it would take for an absolute beginner to be good enough to draw a decent looking comic? Um, that's a very good question. It really depends on your interest, your motivation, and your practice. Okay? And if you, your comic, if you are going to self publish your own comic, but that we should do a whole lesson on. We've done that during the course of the, my Fine Arts Academy. We'll spend the hour and just draw one comic page, like for a comic book. And, um, you can you can draw a really fun comic book on your first day or comic page. I mean, the book takes a long time. The idea is just to just to get started and don't worry about your drawing skill. Just get the idea down. Scribble, scribble, sketch, sketch, sketch. I guarantee you, the more you practice, the better. The more three D your drawings are going to be. And so the poor thing is that is no stress, you guys. Here, where's my where's my no stress here. The, here's no stress to start your comic book cluster. Just sketch the page. You, If you're a beginner, scribble it. Just scribble, scribble, scribble. Because you got to make mistakes. You have to fail to succeed. So make uh, you know sketchy, scribbly pages, and you're going to get more and more refined as you practice. The whole point is get that pencil to the paper. That's why I wrote that book right here. You can draw in 30 seconds. This book is a great teaching to the fundamentals of drawing, and this one is great just to get you motivated to pick up that pencil and make those first those first lines to get you on your path to drawing. All right, here let's uh, let's darken in uh, the. Look, I love how the koala bears get larger as they come towards you. Isn't that cool? You notice that? Notice how they get larger as they come towards you. Larger and larger. Now, you guys on Facebook, anybody want me to go the whole week to, to kind of give you a, a week uh, a week peak? A week, a week-long peak. This will be, and I, I like that. Hey, a week-long peak. A, I like that. Look, I'm thinking of cool little rhymes, puns. A week-long peak. Yeah, a week-long peak at my Fine Arts Academy. Because this is my Fine Arts Academy. Look at this guy. He's this guy's saying, this guy's saying this. Twenty minutes a day, keep the COVID blues away. All right, there's our back of our tree here. I'm gonna draw this guy's arm. He's gonna be waving. There's his hand, his little, his little fingers. He's like, hello, hello. He says, hello, hello. How are you? I love you. I love you. Hello, he says. Well, actually, his this hand's going to be coming down over here in front. I got to move this camera so you can see it. So his his arms coming down here in front. So there's his there's his fingers here, kind of coming out towards you. Now the koala bears they they have these long you know vampirish fingernails so they can scrape the eucalyptus bark, but I'm not going to add that. There's the helix and there's the concha. And let's scribble the shading, scribble the shading. I, I'm shading underneath here. Let me zoom this, focus that a little bit for you guys up there. Uh, I guess i got to pull it back to get it to focus. There we go. All right, now put a shadow under the tree here. So you put a shadow under the fingers. Do you love it? Do you love it, love it, love it? I'm so glad to have you guys drawing with me. So we did our sailing sloop. We took our imagination. We stretched our imagination from drawing a pencil. And then we uh, did Beth Powell from my Zoom class. She wanted to draw some koala bears. So we did a little family of koala bears. Take your finger and say, aha! Take look at this, my little koala family. You guys are my pencil power penguins my my parachuting penguins well you know i just i can't help myself let's draw that parachuting penguin i haven't done that for a while i love this parachuting penguin what do you guys think uh week long peak 
hey, a week-long peak. What this is, is uh, I'm giving to my, okay, I should put what it is to, to, uh, to the Fine Arts Academy. Okay, I got to define what the peak is. A week-long peak at the Fine Arts Academy. That's what we're going to do on the social media. I'm going to open it up. We'll just do the whole week. Uh, on the, we'll do the whole week on the, uh, yeah, look at the parachute ping. Let's draw that. We'll, we'll, we'll open up Facebook and YouTube to our Zoom classes. Isn't that fun? Yay. All right, let's draw that parachuting penguin. That's the angle of it right here. I know you guys have, some of you, most of you have drawn a, a version of this before, and I guarantee we'll do it again. It's such a fun lesson. Let's just draw this parachuting penguin. Curve the top. Now, I'm doing another class today at 4 o'clock. If you guys want to come back at 4 o'clock this afternoon, Central Time, and it'll be different drawings here. It'll be different drawings. I'm glad you're here. Good to have you guys. Hey, thank you. Uh, I just got a, someone just bought my book. Uh, thank you. Let me see here. This is Catherine. She just uh, bought my book from Tennessee. Thank you, Kate. Uh, Catherine. She she was watching me on the. She was watching me here on YouTube. Now, oh, I I made a mistake, you guys. This should be in the center. See that? So I got to change that direction. No stress. No stress, you guys. No stress. All right, this is cool. Look at the angle it down here. Now watch this. I'm going to draw the penguin now, following that guideline. So this is what we want to draw. Where's my little penguin guy? What did I do with my penguin guy? Where's my penguin? I just had him in my hand. Now where did I put the? Oh, here he is. Here's our penguin right here. See, I I tell you, I have every I have so much stuff within my hands reach. I could lose everything in a. 10 seconds. It's like if you, you know, flying out the airport and you lose your ticket. By the time that the attendant gives you your ticket to the time you get to the security gate, you go, you lose your ticket. And then you went straight there. The, welcome to my world. That happens to me all the time. You know, when I used to travel back in the olden days. So, but now I'm all Zoom and I'm loving it. I'm loving all the Zoom here. All right. We're going to put these dots across the top. Put these dots here, and then now curve the bottom. Curve the bottom here, and watch this. I'm going to draw the, I'm going to draw the wings of the penguin. Here, draw the wings. Draw the wings of the penguin, and then I'm going to draw the the beak here. Let's draw the penguin's beak, and then. I'm going to draw the penguin's eyes. Ah, this is such a fun one. You guys with me? Do you like this one, you guys? Do you love it? Give me a thumbs up if you love it. Do you love it, love it, love it? All right. Look at Rebecca going, yay. Now, Rebecca's uh, probably going to, or Beth Powell's probably going to draw the koala bear down here. All right, so the penguin's flying. It's a flying penguin. The penguin's not very many penguins can fly, but this guy can certainly fly. Uh, now, uh, Tuxedo Black says, have you ever made Valentine Day characters? That's, uh, oh yeah, February, that's right. February is coming for Valentine's Day. That's right. That's right, looking forward to that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll do a Valentine's character, sure, when we get there. Now watch, I'm going to draw the, this is the stretching points of the parachute. I can't believe that we're almost done with our lesson already. It was just so much fun. We sure filled up this page with our pencil power sloop. We forgot to put the little thickness on the inside there. And I'm going to put a little bit of value on that sail. A little value on that sail there. Look at that. I always go back in. I can't, I can't stop myself. I'm going to put some shading on the sail. Put some shading on the on the water. I'm gonna put some wrinkles here. I just can't stop myself. I love, I love, I love drawing. Now, to the tip of the, from the tip of the uh, the penguin handle or the penguin's hand, the penguin's wing. I'm gonna draw these these uh, strings here. 
And then on this, this side, they go, some of them go on both sides here. See this? I'm going to draw these strings that are, he's holding up his parachute. Isn't that cool? This is what I learned how to skydive. This was the what our, our parachutes looked like. And they had these little, these little holes in the parachute. That in the flap, and you would pull, you would pull this side, and it would squish that hole, and the, and the wind would go more out of this other side, and that's how you control the direction of your flight. Yeah, you, you just aim the air, and from nowadays it's a square parachute with all these fancy, but when this is back in the 1980s when I learned how to skydive, um, we had to write these round shoots. Yeah, I, I was, uh, I was quite the adventure. Uh, hound back when I was in my early 20s I did the hang gliding and skydiving I was I was a thrill seeker that's for sure and here draw the draw the belly there you go draw the belly here cur the curve the bottom and then here I'm going to draw the little the toes curve in the bottom here draw the toes isn't that fun? I'm here. I'm. I got quiet because I started thinking of all that. Uh, Mel, uh, Madeline wants to draw a pretzel. All oh, the pretzels are so much fun to draw. That's a really good lesson to draw. We could draw the pretzel. Maybe we'll do it at the four o'clock class. We don't have time now because I'm. This is. I'm just winding this lesson down. Uh, but we're gonna shade now. As I'm shading this, can uh, uh, uh Caitlin, can you do a round robin student art gallery? Can you show uh? Can you show everybody's drawing? Can you do that? And let's see, any more comments up here on Facebook? Let's see. Oh, it's so good to see you guys up here on Facebook. So good to see you guys. And there's YouTube. Look at all my cool, uh, Sarah, Sarah loves the, the uh, drawing. Thank you guys. All right, let's put a shadow under the beak. Let's shade underneath the wings. Shade, shade, shade. See the lights above. We're using our imagination. We're drawing this cool, wacky, crazy penguin. Woohoo! Think of the wonderful stories. Think of the awesome stories that you could uh, write, you guys, with your imagination. All right. So thank you guys all for drawing with me on this sneak peek. Uh, Look at Dace's drawings all the way from England. Now, for those of you on social media, you can't see this, but I'm looking at these student drawings. Espen, these drawings are wonderful. Oh, my goodness. It looks like you have, like, Darth Vader chasing the penguin. That's that's wild with your, uh, your lightsaber. Poor penguin. Hurry, penguin. Fly, penguin. Fly. Okay, show me some more, Caitlin. Show me some more pictures of the students up there. And there's Una's drawing. Una! Una, I love your water behind that's flowing behind your pencil sloop. That's wonderful. I love the hand waving on the koala bear. That's great. Show me the fox. So show me the fox family's drawing, Caitlin. Let me see. And then Rebecca, that's great fox family. I love it. Show me Rebecca's. Rebecca's having a meltdown. I didn't get to show anything yet. Well, let's show Rebecca's. Rebecca's on the beach. There's Rebecca. Rebecca, hold it up. We can't see you because of your cool virtual background. I love your beach, but can you turn the background off for a second? Can you do that so I can see your drawing? Let's see if she can figure that out. You guys are smarter at all this than I am. Rebecca has this beautiful, for those of you who are on YouTube and Facebook, Rebecca has this wonderful, uh, uh, oh, look at that. She has the virtual background. I love your drawing of the pencil sloop. That's wonderful. You put a lot of windows in it. That's awesome. All right, Amanda, uh, 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 Caitlin, let's show your, show your drawing, Caitlin. Thank you, Rebecca, for showing us that drawing. Now, Rebecca did a very fancy pirate ship. Look at that pirate ship. That's wonderful. Rebecca, I want you to take a picture of that and email it to me. There's a whole lesson right there. That's awesome. That's wonderful with the, the, the skull and crossbones. Beautiful. All right. Uh, anybody else not say, what about Lucy's drawing? What about Matthew's drawing? Uh, okay, there's Nathaniel's drawing. Nathaniel sitting in front of your big poofy couch there. You have the, you have the most comfortable looking couch, but you're on the floor. That's cool because you want to, you, I see you're using the table 
as your desk, right? All right, that's a great drawing. All right, how about, uh, let's see another drawing. There's Una's drawing. There's her penguin, and she's eating her pretzels. Here, share. Here, share the pretzels. Come on, here. Get, share it with your teacher. <coughs> oh, you guys are doing great. All right, let me see more drawings. I want to see more drawings from you guys. And there is uh, Owen's drawing. Owen, that's beautiful. Nice job, Owen. Nice drawing. Nice drawing, Owen. I love it. All right, let, let, come on back. Come on back to my hand. And let's uh, wrap this session up here. Let's wrap up our session here. It's time for Mr. Mark to go eat some lunch. Now you've got me hungry thinking about pretzels. All right, well, thank you guys for drawing with me. I'm going to put my... Uh, my information over here. This is this is Mark Kistler. That's me. Woohoo! Mark Kistler's. This is me. Here's my Doppelinger made by a student of mine. Mark. Woohoo! Mark Kistler's. Mark Kistler's Zoom daily drawing lessons. Oops. Daily. Duh. I misspelled it already. Look at that. Mark Kistler's daily drawing. Lessons live, live, bam, and this is our uh, week uh, 20 of 24, week 24 of 41 weeks of our Fine Arts Academy. We're a little more than halfway over for all of our, we've been doing at this for many months, week 24 of our live drawing on our Fine Arts Academy. And uh, it's Monday. This is you can look at my website for information on my Fine Arts Academy. And uh, this is uh, Monday. It's Mighty Mondays. Mondays. This is our 11 a.m. Central Standard Time class. And the date today is January 25th, 2021. Now, if you want to see the whole collection, if you want to see the whole collection of all of our drawings each week, I post them to on YouTube so you guys can. You can see, uh, go back to my uh, uh, Facebook. Go back on my Facebook page, and you can see all the drawings. All right. Hey, there's uh, Emilio Jose from Guatemala. Great to see you back again with us. Emilio will be back at 4 o'clock uh, Central Time today. And we'll also be back at 6.30 tonight, okay? And thank you, everybody, for this grand experiment of me trying to do the split screen with my face up here. And with the drawing lesson. That was a really fun drawing lesson. I'm glad you guys joined me. Well, it's come back today at 4 o'clock. Remember, tonight at 6.30 Central Time is NASA. Here it goes. NASA and Draw 3D. We uh, join Team Artemis. And we're going to draw tonight at 6.30 p.m. We're going to draw the, the NASA's dune buggy lunar train vehicle. All right, guys. You guys do great. Uh, save that recording for me, Caitlin. Save that recording to the iCloud. I will say goodbye to all my social media folks. I'll see you tonight at 4 o'clock if you want to come back. And for sure, it's 6.30 on social media for our live uh, NASA Artemis Draw Live. Let me see. I can remember how to do this here. <laughs>